Hey guys, it's Kaz here aka Cats and Camera and today I'm doing my Emojiathon TBR. This video is a little bit late because Emojiathon goes from the beginning to the end of this whole month but I have started reading one of the books so I've been participating I just haven't uploaded this yet. So Emojiathon was created by Dylan over at Dylan the Reader 5, I'll link his channel below and it's basically a readathon where there's a lot of different emojis and then there's a challenge that goes with each one. The goal is to complete four of these challenges within the month, which is pretty doable. My TBR, I've got twice as many. I don't know if I'm going to get to them all, but it's nice to have a selection. If you were here in February, then you might have seen me do this before. For this readathon, I like to wrap my books up. It's something a bit different and draw the little emoji on the front. So yeah, I've got eight books here, but I will link the Google document down below which has a list of all the emojis that you can choose from and like I say it goes on for the whole month so there's still time for you to join in. So let's just jump in to the TBR. So the first emoji on my list was the two guys holding hand and this is read a book about a marginalised group and for this one I've chosen Thinking Straight by Robin Reardon. This one seems to follow our main character, Taylor, and he's sent to some sort of Christian camp to get rid of being gay, one of those conversion camp things, and he meets somebody there. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. I read another of Robin Reardon's books the other month, and it was okay, so I'm hoping this one is a bit better. The next emoji on my list is the face with the hands holding it in terror and that's read a thriller or horror and for this one I have gone with Dark Heart by Darren J Guest this was a random pickup from a charity shop I think it was in the 4 for 1.99 one time and this one is about a character Leo who goes through something traumatic and then 20 years later a demon returns so it sounds pretty thrilling and it's quite short so it's good for a readathon even one that lasts a whole month. Next up I went with the robot face and this one is read a futuristic or sci-fi book. And this one, as you can tell, it's a graphic novel, not quite a book, but... I've gone with Guardians of the Galaxy and this is by Brian Michael Bendis, Stephen McNiven and Sarah Picelli. And this is the first volume. I've had this for a little while. I have seen the first film, not the second one. And I'm looking forward to checking this out. I'm sure everyone knows what this is about. It's a group of ragtag people come together. Well, people is probably not the right word, is it? But yeah, it's about a group of misfits that basically come together and are guardians of the galaxy. Next up is this weird face. I'm not sure what this is about. I don't use emojis that much, so most of these I don't even know what they are. But this one is read a book you've been anticipating. And before I open this, please everyone just have a little guess what it is. Look at the size of it. Have a little guess what this might be. If you guess correctly, then you've obviously seen a video by me before. This is the last volume of Chew. It's volume 12, Sour Grapes. And... Oh, I really want to read it and I'm also scared because it's the end and I don't want it to be the end but yes I'm definitely anticipating this and looking forward to it so much. So this is about our main character Tony Chu who gets psychic impressions from food that he eats so he can see what happened to them, what pesticides we use, what where they were picked or killed or made and he also does it with people. Next up for some reason, my three graphic novels have all come in an order because I'm going through this in the order they're written on the Google documents. Well, the next one is The Little Clock and this is Read a Book in Under 24 Hours. And for this one, I'm going with... Love is Love. This is by a lot of different people. It's basically a bind up of loads of different comics and different little bits and pieces about LGBTQIA plus people and all the proceeds from this went to, or does go to, everyone that was affected in the Orlando shooting last year, the Club Pulse shooting, and yeah, it's Pride Month, 
obviously I've got to read this this month. Next up is the Two Eyes Looking Sideways and this one is Read a Book You've Been Seeing Everywhere and this is actually the book I've already started. Hello. I have actually read something one earlier, I'm waking. And that's The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This one, I've heard loads of people talk about it and I'm about halfway through this and I am enjoying it so far so we shall see what the second half holds. This is basically about a circus that only opens at night. Next up we have this little goofy face with glasses on and this is read a book without any hype. And this one kind of falls in the same category as chill, kind of, but... That's Ghost Medicine by Andrew Smith. This is the last Andrew Smith book I have that I haven't read yet. So I'm really looking forward to this, but again, like chill. I don't want it to end. He needs to bring out something new as soon as I finish this. I don't even know what this is about, really, but it's Andrew Smith, so I'm probably going to enjoy it. And last but not least, on this TBR, we have The Little Dog, and this is read a book that features an animal or has an animal on the cover. And for this one, I've come with Animal Farm by George Orwell, which has obviously an animal on the cover and in the title. This, I've never read this before, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. And it's really short, so it's something that I can definitely get to. And yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to finally reading this and seeing what it's all about. Very apt in today's society as it was when it came out. So yeah, there is my Emojiathon TBR. There's eight things, but I feel like we've got three graphic novels. These three books are quite short. So I think it's doable, but I'm not going to be mad if I don't get to a few of these. If you've made your own Emojiathon TBR, then tell me in the comments below and I'll check them out because I do think this is a really cool readathon. I do enjoy it. I enjoyed it in February, so I'm going to enjoy it this month as well. Also, if you've read any of these books or are planning to read any of these books, comment that below as well and We'll see if we have similar tastes. If you're new to my channel and like what you see, then please check out some of my other videos. And if you carry on liking it, then please subscribe to the channel. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye. It's a big cat in the background. <laughs>